It is expected that India will announce Rafael Marine as the winner of 26 multi-role carrier bond fighter deal during the visit of French President Emmanuel Macron in New Delhi, and as per latest information, the Indian Navy will get the Rafael Marine Block F 4.1 variant, since Dassault Aviation has now shifted production to Block F 4, that will come with upgraded radar as well as improved capabilities in the helmet-mounted display advanced network-centric warfare with more data exchange and satellite communication capability. The French Navy has already started upgrading its older F-3R Rafale Marine variant to the new F-4.1 standard in 2022, that will also be delivered to Indian Navy with some customizations. The DRDO had initiated a directionally unrestricted raygun array project in 2021, also known as the Durga 2, which is a 100 kW lightweight directed energy weapon, that will first be available to the Indian Army, and later be integrated with sea and air platforms. As per media reports, the full prototype of the system will be one of the most crucial projects to watch out for in 2023. Z Motion Autonomous System will supply a small number of its tree netroloitering munition to the Indian Air Force for user trials. The Indian Army had already completed trials of the Trinitral hand launched loitering munition in Ladakh in June 2022, after which an order for unspecified units was placed by the Indian Army under emergency procurement. The tree netro weighs 5.5 kg, and it carries a 1 kg warhead and it can also be equipped with multiple optional payloads. It has a range of 15 km, endurance of 60 minutes with a cruise speed of 20 meters per second. The shoulder launch man portable anti-tank guided missile was flight tested in its final deliverable configuration from a makeshift tripod stand in 2022, and now the DRDO is in process of developing a launch tube for man portable anti-tank guided missile. The RDO officials have confirmed that work is underway to fine-tune the booster energy, so that the recoil is tolerable, and it doesn't affect the positioning of the soldier causing deviation in the flight path of the missile. The DRDO plans to carry out a test of the man portable anti-tank guided missile in full configuration soon. The DRDO is developing a customized Helena anti-tank guided missile, that will be further optimized for high-altitude operations, and it will soon start user trials on the Rudra armed helicopter and the Prachan light combat helicopter. The Helena had carried out successful tests in desert ranges in February 2021, followed by successful tests at high-altitude ranges in April 2022 thus clearing all user trials in 2022, and even the local supply chain was also established for production. <laughs> Defence Minister Rajnath Singh reviewed the operational preparedness and infrastructure development at Andaman and Nicobar Command in Port Blair, and he also met top commanders and joint services troops at Indian Naval Air Station Bars. He also visited the Air Force Station at Karnakobar, that operates frontline fighter jets including Su-30 and Jaguar strike aircraft.